CSL Code S. Hot six. <laughs> Had to say it a different way that time. In the bottom right starting location, we have our young Gosu. He is... FXO Lino. In the upper left, we have our Protoss player up one game. Can he win this one too? He is... OGS MC. Whenever... Ah, never mind. It's a joke. I'll say it later. All right. I can't wait. Will you say it now? No, no. It has to be when that little thing's coming okay. up there. Will you say it now? Uh, get, get to do it. Well, we have... um. Uh, you know, a situation where the Protoss is going to fast expand again. Mm -hmm. I do not know what the Zerg is going to do. I feel like now Leenok is really going to be feeling the heat. He had an epic series uh, before. Mm -hmm. Games that he won, games that he lost. Yeah. And then his uh, nifty cheese kind of novelty strat just completely failed. Yes. I mean, this is a stressful situation. I'm sure MC actually looked at like that situation kind of a bit confused, thought, okay, I think I just win if I put the probes in my ramp. And he did. Uh, okay, a couple of really interesting things are going on right now. First off, we see MC going double pylon. This is very un MC like. MC is the player that will sit on 16 or 17 probes for like a couple minutes while he gets all his tech going. So this is a much uh, different opening. And I think part of that might just be because that choke is so wide, because he's still sitting on only 18 probes. Uh, but in the meantime, Leenok, with his what looks like a speedling expansion, uh, might not be a speedling expansion. By he's way, still mining gas. Look at this. Nine wins, one loss on this map for Leenok. Zero and three. He is not eight. one on this map. Wow. Uh, that actually just spells out owl. Owl. If you just give it to the three. Owl percent. Yeah. Okay, so Baneling Nest on the way. Yep. Leenok never stopped mining his gas. He loves to do cheeses against Forge Fast Expanse. Uh, he's gained a little bit of notoriety for that. So will MC make extra cannons? He's actually, this is going to be really hard for him to hold. Uh, Baneling's going to be extremely good against this type of wall. And two pylons are already part of it. Now three pylons. Well, actually, it. if he gets that one pylon, well, actually, it won't matter. Never mind. I should get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. It's like hour four into the casting. That's where Tase's brain just shuts off. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um. So uh, the links are coming up here now, and we're gonna so see. He's making a mega wall right now. But yeah. I mean, this is nothing but me. Here's the thing: like, I actually think MC's got this because this this is a mega wall. He's really putting on a lot of pieces here, and there's only one gas taken by Leenok, which means he can't refill these banelings well. He's got like one go with the banes. Yeah, this yeah. Is, there's uh, no way. Well, he's gonna go for this pylon here. Oh, that's a good choice. Oh, but. or is it? Oh, it actually is. Never mind. Yeah, turns out it is. Turns out it is. That's a great choice to make one baneling right there. In fact, you should start a second. Zealot should attack it. There you go. Very smart MC. Very deep this crisis management. Once oh, no. Eh. Ah. Well, almost a ton of probes died, but not quite. Man. Actually, really nice control here, man. Um, well, that worked out so well. You know, he had just enough to kill that gateway behind. Just enough banelings to kill. That's it, quick. GG. Yeah, no, that's wow. That was uh, that was some quick thinking because that was really MC, impressive. Like, he has to be frustrated by that because actually he was getting prepared for that so well. Like, if he had started that gateway a little bit earlier, he would have been fine. He had every other thing doubled up, so the banelings he had there was just enough for Leonok to get through exactly there, exactly then. I actually was so sure that MC was going to hold that. It was very clear oh, MC yeah. knew it was coming. He hit the the gateway just in time. The gateway was a little bit late on that block. If it was a little bit earlier, you know, he holds it a little bit longer. Some more Zerglings die to Photon. Probably a moment he would have wanted to cut maybe one or two probes. Just get that up. 
Because that's a situation that's where once, once you true. deflect it, I mean, yeah, man. if Banelings are you coming, can win cancel you want. all your probes that are making. Cancel. Yeah. I don't care if you have a Chrono Boost on that Nexus is about to finish. You cancel that probe. You, you need a it. lot of buildings, man. You just need a huge, thick building wall. Yeah. And you're going to be fine. It's pretty uh, pretty impressive. Leenock was like, all I do is win, 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 no matter what. Protoss, Terran, Zerg. I can't, I won't say the next word, but. <laughs> That's all I got, Artosis. That's all I got. We're in hour four. Case's brain has turned into oatmeal. That's right, man. Back to time right now. 10.04. 10.04. Saw that's Angel in green. Well, wow. you are a wise man, Artosis. A wise man, it's because I'm an angel. You are, no, you're not. You're a warlock. That's true. But you know what? Warlocks and here's the eat thing if you really look at me, wings. if you really look at me, I people don't notice I, I would make a really good centaur. You would I make a, a good centaur. <gasps> think about that. I just realized that <coughs> I might be a horse under this. I mean, a horse butt. Yeah, I, I would ride center. you to work every day. <laughs> that would be so fun. Imagine